Got another case of the Mondays? Uh-oh. Sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. <laughs> Liz here from LizTheAlto.com on a mission to turn your Mondays into your favorite day of the week with fitness and lifestyle advice for busy women. This week's question comes from Melissa. Liz, I want to know how someone who knows their problem but is too scared of failing to fix it could get over it and fix it. Melissa, first of all, thank you. Your bravery in asking this question will no doubt benefit a lot of viewers. First, you need to understand that fear isn't real. All it is is the absence of love and love is real. It's the foundation of all creation. All fear and negative emotions are just there to tell us what we really want. Whenever you feel fear, you can also recognize that it's also time to get excited because you're about to find out some information that you really need to know that just can't occur to you intellectually or by using logic. You have to feel it. I like to tell people that fear and excitement are the strongest indicators that you're moving in the right direction. You should tweet that, by the way. So the first step in dissolving the fear is to feel it and experience it fully. This way, you can get the message that it has for you. The next time you feel this fear, instead of pushing it away or doing something to distract yourself or bury it or do anything you can to avoid feeling it, I want you to locate the fear in your body. Figure out where you actually feel it and how it feels. You know your body better than anyone, so once you figure out where the fear is and what it feels like, ask yourself what does that area of your body represent to you? And now the most important part, what do you really want? What desire is that fear there to reveal to you? This is gonna allow you to channel that fear into excitement so you can shift your focus off of what you don't want and put it onto what you do want. Once you identify the desire, then you're gonna create a belief around it so you can bring it into existence. You do this by changing your thought pattern. Beliefs are just thoughts that you kept on thinking, so it's actually pretty easy to create a new one by changing what you think about. I'm gonna take you through a personal example so you can see how to put this into practice. The one year anniversary of my flagship program, Tighter in 10 Days, is coming up. So I'm adding updates, creating a 2.0 version, and launching a membership site to go with it. I noticed this big ass fear building up on me that the entire project was gonna flop. I felt the fear in me as tightness in my throat, no pun intended, pain in my chest, and a burning in my stomach. The tightness in my throat revealed that I wasn't 100% clear on the message I wanted to deliver. The pain in my chest revealed that I wasn't appreciating my personal creativity and genius. The burning in my stomach told me that I felt empty and scared and really that I thought I was gonna invest all this money and not see a return. Before I could address any of this, I had to figure out a way to feel better first because fear can be paralyzing. So. I scheduled an appointment to meet up with a friend who really inspires me. I had breakfast at my favorite place in the West Village here in New York City. I got a pedicure and I enjoyed that massage chair for 45 minutes. I went up to Central Park, I walked around there, and I went to a museum. At that point, I felt so much better, I was ready to take on the message from my fear. First, I got super clear about the message I wanted to deliver. In fact, I got so excited about it, I could barely even wait till next month to share it with people. Then, I went back through the surveys of women who have gone through my program. I allowed myself to feel the love of their responses, take pride in the results they got, and also use their frustrations to figure out ways that I can improve the program. Last but not least, I created a little mantra for myself. I am a magnet for wealth, abundance, pleasure, and love. And this little mantra serves two purposes for me. First, because beliefs are just thoughts that you keep on thinking, I'm programming a new belief system that I'm a magnet for wealth, abundance, pleasure, and love. Whether or not that's even true at this moment, the more I believe it, the more I'll begin to experience it. Second, fear is persistent. It doesn't just go away. So I can use my mantra as kind of like a fire extinguisher. So the next time that fear starts to bubble up, instead of letting it you know, take hold of my body and work its way through my system, I can just squash it by going back to my mantra and reminding myself that I'm a magnet for wealth, abundance, pleasure, and love. So you see, you can start with the fear of failure, feeling paralyzed and out of control, and end with all the tools you need to come out on the other side, ready and able to create whatever it is that you really want. Whoa, 
That was a little deeper than we usually go on Ask Liz, and now I wanna hear from you. What do you usually do when you notice that fear is holding you back? If you enjoyed the message today, please go ahead and share it up. And of course, if you want even more free advice and other useful resources, head on over to lizcialta.com and subscribe. Brrr! I'm freezing, can we turn off the air conditioning? No. And of course, hey! <laughs> Stupid.